Okay, we're at example seven. So these encompass a couple of our tricky tricks, so just make sure that you are looking out for them. Now, one of the tricks that we didn't discuss in the other video is what happens when you just have an integer here. Now, the thing that happens when you have an integer and you've got another log on this other side, if we want to equate them to being one term, all I have to do is convert it back into being a log. Now, every number is multiplied by one. We just don't normally bother writing it because we're lazy. So all I really am doing here is two times one plus log 10, 3. Well, I know that I can make a 1 by doing log 10, 10. So if I do that now, 2 times log 10, 10, this is the same as saying 1, and it means that now I've got the same base as I do over here. So that means that I can add and or I can start doing things with those logs because they're equivalent. Okay, so now I can take this 2 back up as a power. Now, this is one of the tricky tricks. You can't just start adding and subtracting them just like we talked about earlier. You have to do this the correct way by putting it back up as a power first. So that's going to become log 10, 100, because 10 squared is 100, plus log 10, 3. Now that I've got it into this form, I can use my log law, which is if they're adding, that means I multiply these two numbers, which will give me log 10, 300. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, just like before when we discussed, if I've got a power at the front, it has to come back up first. Okay, do that first, it's going to save you time. So, 3 log 3, 6 minus 3 log 3, 18 is going to become log 3, 6 cubed minus log 3, 18 cubed. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to represent this as the division problem that it is. So log 3 bracket 6 cubed divided by 18 cubed. Okay, and because I've got a 3 here and a 3 here, I can actually take that out of the brackets. Just like when you think about your index laws, A over B, if I have a squared out here, that times is that one and that one, I can do the reverse to take the 3 out of the bracket. So log 3, 6 over 18 cubed. Now, I know that I can simplify this fraction because uh, they both share 6 as a common factor. So log 1 over 3 to the power of 3. And I can keep going with this one because I can see where we're at now. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to express this as 3 to the power of negative 1. So log 3 bracket 3 to the power of negative 1, and it's still in a bracket with the 3 on the outside. Uh, if I take this out as well, then that's going to become negative 3 on the outside because these two multiply, just like we remember from our index laws. Okay, so negative 3 on the outside. Now I can see that this is the same, meaning that it will cancel to be 1, and I'll be left with negative 3. Okay, C is one of the ones that we talked about in the other video because it is the most common trick. We love this question. Now, 27 isn't 9 to the power of something, but I, can, I know that 9 is 3 to the power of 2. So log 3, 3 to the power of 2. And I know that 27 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 3. So that's 3 times 3 makes 9 times 3 again makes 27. So 3 to the power of 3. So see how I'm trying to match these two to these two? I can pick any number. I just have to pick a number and roll with it. Okay, so take this to the front. So 2 log 3, 3 over 3 log 3, 3. This section will cancel out to be 1, and I'm left with 2 over 3. Okay, give these questions over here a go.